Yeah, Chris, uh, the vehicle, the Illinois State Police vehicle did get back on the road, so that vehicle is no longer here. But I can tell you that the crowd has only grown from the last time that we spoke about a half an hour ago. There are, of course, a lot of media around here, but there's also a lot of neighbors, a lot of people who went to the parade earlier and do want eyes on this suspected gunman as he's expected to be brought right back here to the Highland Park Police Department. And I'm joined now by Stacy, who has lived in Highland Park for 30 years. So Stacy, bring me back to around 930 this morning. You said that you had gone or at least, um, you know, started to go to the, the kids part of the parade, which started at 930, right? Correct. We got there around 10 o'clock and as we were walking in there, everybody was all over the place and people were saying, oh, we didn't know if it was firecrackers, if it was a shooting, what? And we just kind of got out of there, looked around and then everything broke out and he's a local guy and it's just, it's horrific. It's 30 years in Highland Park. 30 years, never thought that this would ever happen. And today it did. We've been uh, reporting on this for eight, nine, 10 hours at this point. What has changed in terms of just your reaction to what have you been able to absorb or does it just feel surreal still? I'm in disbelief and you really can't go anywhere. I thought Highland Park was a safe place. You just don't know when this is going to happen. And I just pray for these families and pray for everybody who is out there that everybody's safe. It's scary. This world's scary. It's very scary. Um, you are one of many folks who have come out to the Highland Park Police Department tonight. Tell me why you wanted to come out here. Because I want to see this kid. <laughs> I really do. It's disgusting. He's sick. And I can sense the, the anger yeah. in your you voice. Know, just, it's, it's very upsetting. And you know, everybody has little kids. There are tons of little kids around here. And this could happen anywhere. And it's, it's very sad. It's very sad. What do you most want to see happen in the aftermath of this? I want peace. Peace is what I want. Thank you so much yeah, for speaking you. with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Stacy said she lives just a few blocks away. And again, she was near the parade route earlier today um, and has come out here to try to get eyes on this suspected gunman. Um, and a lot of folks, she's certainly not alone. A lot of folks have come out here and we do not know what kind of vehicle that suspected gunman um, is going to be brought to the police department in. So we are keeping our eyes peeled and you can hear that chopper overhead as well right now. So certainly an active uh, position to be in right now around eight o'clock. Chris and Erica. Jackie Kostick, thank you so much.